Hello. In this demo, you'll learn how to set up proactive health checks using the continuous validation feature in Terraform Cloud. Making sure your infrastructure continues working well on day two and beyond reduces the risk of costly outages by detecting failures or misconfigurations before they become a problem. First, we need to define what to check for. This is done by adding custom assertions right in your Terraform code using condition blocks that have been available since Terraform 1.2 and the new check blocks introduced in Terraform 1.5. Pre and post condition blocks can be applied to individual data sources, resources, or outputs, and these must be satisfied or else the run will stop on a failure. Here you can see an AWS EC2 instance with a few conditions, including one which will check my base image from HCP Packer for any updates. Check blocks are new in Terraform 1.5, and these are useful for more holistic, functional testing of your provisioned infrastructure or application. They're a top-level block, as you can see here, so you can reference any of the objects in your configuration instead of being limited to a single resource scope. This can include variables, locals, data sources, resources, and even child module outputs. You can also embed a nested or scoped data source inside a check block, and you can combine more than one assertion into a single check. All of this gives you the flexibility to define some really powerful validations of your infrastructure and applications. Checks run as the very last step in the plan or apply phase, and they'll produce warnings, but do not halt execution of the Terraform run. In this example, I'm using a scoped HTTP data source to check the return code from a web server. And I'm also checking the running state of the EC2 instance. And I'm using the new plan timestamp function available in Terraform 1.5 to check the age of my Packer image. With a second check, I'm validating that the Route 53 DNS record has the value I expect from the provisioned instance. Now that these validations are defined in our code, how do we make sure they're always healthy? That's where Terraform Cloud and Continuous Validation come into effect. Continuous Validation performs automatic background assessments of the checks in your Terraform code so that you don't have to maintain your own custom scheduling and notification systems. Here I have a workspace where the code we just looked at has already been provisioned. Enabling health assessments is really simple. Just one setting here in the workspace settings. After a few minutes, the first assessment will run automatically and it'll also rerun every 12 hours after that. We can also start one right away with the start health assessment button. Now that the first health assessment has completed, we can see the results from both the resource level custom conditions and those new top level checks. Notice that two of the three assertions from that check have failed. My base image is too old. And I also simulated a failure of the web server so that it returned an error code. You can also configure custom notifications for continuous validation so you get a proactive alert when these conditions fail. From the workspace notification settings, you can set up alerts via email, Slack, Microsoft Teams, or custom webhooks to integrate with external systems like PagerDuty or a ticketing system. Here you can customize the types of health events that you'll receive. You'll also see the results of health checks here on the workspace overview page and in the overall projects and workspaces list. So to wrap up, you can see how continuous validation and the new check blocks in Terraform 1.5 give you a powerful framework for functional validation and confidence that your infrastructure is always working as you expect. For more information, check out the Terraform Cloud documentation and tutorials at developer.hashicorp.com and head on over to hashicorp.com slash cloud to get started with a free trial. Thanks for watching.